The Magic Typewriter, written by Justin Perry. Once upon a time, in a small town, there was a boy named Jackson. Jackson was a poor boy who lived in a small house with his mother. They struggled to make ends meet and Jackson often went to bed hungry. One day, while playing in the attic, Jackson discovered an old typewriter. It was rusty and covered in cobwebs, but Jackson was fascinated by it. He cleaned it up and decided to try it out. Jackson sat down at the typewriter and decided to randomly type all the things he wanted to have. I have a slice of chocolate cake and I have a red toy car. Two days later, to his amazement, his mother called him and offered him a slice of chocolate cake. The next door neighbor said they had an extra piece and wanted to know if he wanted any. Jackson was grateful for his fortune and continued on that day. Later that day, his auntie stopped by and said she had a present for him. Since she missed his birthday party, she pulls out a shiny red toy car, places it on the ground. Instantly Jackson remembers the two things he typed in his typewriter. He started to think that in fact, it was a magical typewriter. Jackson realized that the typewriter was magical and could manifest anything he typed into it. He was thrilled. He started writing everything he could think of. A brand new bike, new computer, and a new big house. This time when he wrote something down, it seemed to manifest within a few days, months, and the house took a whole year, but it came. He felt like he discovered a secret of life that made him feel unstoppable. Years went by, and Jackson became a very wealthy and famous man in town. He had everything he ever wanted, and he made sure to always take his typewriter with him. He was afraid to lose it because he thought he would lose everything he had gained. One night, Jackson couldn't sleep. He was thinking about the typewriter and how much he relied on it. He decided to try something different. He got out a piece of paper and wrote down what he really wanted. He didn't use the typewriter this time. He just wrote down his true desires. The next morning, Jackson woke up with a new excitement about life. He knew something had changed, and over the past few months, everything Jackson wrote down manifested again. He then realized that he didn't need the typewriter after all. All he needed was to know what he wanted and write it down, and higher forces will bring about the desired outcome. From that day on, Jackson never used the typewriter again. He knew that his power to manifest came from within him, and he lived happily ever after, knowing that he could create his own destiny just by knowing what he wanted and writing it down. The End